All right, on Mike and Mike, we continue and the coaches begin. We have the ACC coaches in studio this morning. And joining us first is a man who I guess I have to consider my sworn enemy. At this point, I consider Northwestern Syracuse to be one of the top rivalries in college football. I think it's right up there, Mike, with USC, Notre Dame, or, or any of the other That's big ones. That's what I was ones. thinking. Yeah. Northwestern and Syracuse. It's yep. our pleasure to welcome the head coach of Syracuse football, Dino Babers, to our studio. Coach, wonderful to have you. Good morning, guys. How are you guys doing? First and foremost, i got to say thank you for bringing the, uh, the, uh, the dinosaur barbecue. Holy smokes. Anything that has the word slathering on it, I'm going to dig. <laughs> I'll tell you what, the story of that, uh, of that barbecue place is outstanding. The, uh, the gentleman that owns that thing, he took a tour of the United States, all the southern states, and, and was an apprentice in all the top barbecue places, Tennessee, Georgia, Texas, swung. And after he did it, I think it was about three or four years after he was apprenticed down there, he came back up to uh, Syracuse, New York, and opened up his own place. And it's been doing fabulous up there. If you're going to eat barbecue, that's the place. So he stole to. all the recipes when he was doing that, huh? Basically, he was a good coach. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> the coach is here. The coach is here with the Straight Talk, brought to you by Straight Talk Wireless, best phones, best networks, half the cost. You know, we had um, not long ago, we had Shaka Smart on the show. He took the job, the coaching job, in basketball at Texas. Mm -hmm. And we asked him, Texas football is iconic. What are the advantages and the disadvantages of coaching basketball at a football school? In your case, obviously the opposite is true. Jim Beheim and Syracuse basketball are an iconic program. What are the pluses and the challenges of coaching football at a place where basketball is so well known? I I'm going to answer that, but I, I got to start with this short story. Yeah. I worked at UNLV when Tark was there when they won a national championship. Yeah. I worked at the University of Arizona when Lute Olson won a national championship. I was at UCLA the two years, I want to say uh, – uh, ben, I'm going to get Ben, Ol not Ben Olsen, Ben Howland. Ben Howland was yeah, there. Right. Now, they went to the final, final four, four back twice, back years, but yeah, that right. wasn't my fault. He should have won it. Now, <laughs> the, when I first got to Syracuse, coach was, uh, coach was on suspension, and, and I got an opportunity to meet him, and I, and I told him that story. And I think they were uh, four and five. You guys, you know, final four national championship. And he's like, rah, rah, rah. Coach has that demeanor about him. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, when we were making that final four run at the end and got an opportunity to get into that thing, I thought that uh, he did one of the best coaching jobs I've ever seen. And my hat's off to him, along with uh, Coach Q, our, our girls coach. Now, to answer your question, I absolutely love it. I think that uh, it's okay that Syracuse is considered a basketball school, but when you look back into our tradition, and you look at all the things, all the great football players that we've had there in the past, uh, Ernie Davis, the GOAT, Jim Brown, are you kidding me? Uh, Floyd Little, along with Don McPherson, Don, Donovan McNabb, Jones, Dwight Freeney. We've, we've had we set fantastic football players there. And what we need to do is just bridge that past to the present so we can have an opportunity to have an outstanding future. What's the first last year? It's a team that won their first three, lost their next eight, and won their last game. So you come in. How do you wipe the slate clean? How do you, how do you how do you get them to pick it back up? You know, the first thing is I I needed them to listen to one voice. You know, I uh, I talked to a lot of the alumni, a lot of the alumnus, and I said, please let me have 365 days with these guys. And everybody wants to help. Everybody wants to get in, and and I want all of their help. But what I need to do is I need to just circle the wagons and really get to know this football team and have this football team get to know me and my coaches. And uh, after those 365 days of uh, pulling out all the weeds and watering it and seeding it, let's see what we can blossom into. You've got a variety of, of personal experience that is actually relevant to conversations we're having on the show today. So quickly, you were the position coach for Josh Gordon in college when he was at Baylor. You were telling me that during the break. Obviously, he's very much a part of the news this morning. There's your perspective on his getting another chance and your recollection of him as a collegian. I, I think everyone deserves a second chance, and I hope that Josh takes advantage of this. I mean, Josh Gordon is a fabulous person. I mean, I've seen him in my home. You know, babysitting my kids. I have no problem leaving Josh Gordon with my family. He's got an issue, and he's got one issue. He's one of the smartest football players I've been around. And you should see the guy write, Northwestern graduate. He's a fantastic writer. Mom was a teacher, just an outstanding person. And I, and I, I hope this time he gets it right because I've, I've put 25, over 25 uh, wide receivers in the National Football League. And from an athletic standpoint, none of them are like Josh Gordon, Oz Akeem, Will Blackwell, uh, 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 un, un, Dennis oh. Northcutt, unlimited yeah. guy. Yeah. Yeah. But Josh Gordon's the most talented 
wide receiver. He, he has some incredible talent. And another guy you were with in college, at Eastern Illinois was Jimmy Garoppolo, who is going to get the, the the first four starts for the Patriots this year. He's going to get his chance. We've seen other guys there, a guy named Matt Castle, get a chance there, do pretty well, and, and things worked out. What, what do you see in Jimmy? Taylor with, with uh, RG3. And I've been around some outstanding quarterbacks. When I got to uh, Eastern Illinois, which is the home of Tony Roman, which is the right. home of Sean Payton. Uh, they've had a history of fantastic quarterbacks there. Bob Spoo, legendary Hall of Fame coach. Jimmy Garoppolo, I watched him throw the ball five times, and everybody thought he was bad. And I watched him throw the ball five times, and I turned to an administrator, and I said, this is, I, I can't believe this. And the guy, the guy thought Jimmy was bad. He says, yeah, I told you he was bad. <laughs> and I said, he has no business being here. And he says, that's exactly what I said. I said, a lot of coaches should be fired. There's no reason why this guy should be at this level. And you could see it after five passes. Jimmy Garoppolo was the William Tell to me of college football. I've never seen a quarterback that could hit exactly what he was throwing at. And I'm not talking about putting it on a guy's body. You put your hand out there and he's sticking the ball right in the middle of your palm. And you take that accuracy and you put it with someone who has the second fastest release I've ever seen. The only release I've ever seen faster was Dan Marino's. Hmm. The second fastest release I've ever seen. And you've got an outstanding quarterback. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, Tom Brady is best of all the best. And I'm not saying it's, it's, he's going to take Tom's job. I'm just telling you that this young man is exceptional. And uh, if Bill Belichick put a second-round draft pick on him, he knows hmm. what he's doing. Yeah, well, if he, get, if he plays well for four games, he's going to get a chance to make yeah, himself a career yeah. in the end. Despite the fact that I consider Syracuse football my arch rival, I wish you nothing but the best of success. Thank you so much. Enjoy your day here, and we'll see you down the road. Can I, can I, can I say this real quick? I kind of think of you guys are my idol, so I watch you guys every morning. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Thank you, and, Thank I, and you you're my new much. favorite. You brought me uh, the barbecue sauce. I hope you guys win every game. Pleasure to have you here. More coaches on the way. Stick around. Mike and Mike.